looking at some of the developments uh, making the rounds concerning the uh, tiny West African nation of the Gambia. Exiled Gambians are already pondering of a return to troubled homeland. That's the news uh, reaching us now. And uh, a few of them have asked to be returned, perhaps to see how they can uh, get back the nation uh, called the Gambia. We have uh, our gentleman here, Alexa, uh, uh, Alexa Wilcox uh, and uh, Chuka Mika Eze. Both of them have been looking at uh, the way forward, knowing full well that the meeting has just ended here in Abuja, uh, being chaired by Nigeria's President Muhammadu Buhari on ways to help uh, bring about uh, peace uh, to the Gambia. And uh, they have another trip to make this Wednesday to ask Yaya Jami once more to stand down. Uh, Mr. Eze, uh, very quickly, coming back to you now, uh, we are trying to look at uh, uh, him listening to, you know, how they put it to reason and have a, a very, very peaceful way of uh, uh, relinquishing power to the uh, elected uh, president of the Gambia. Uh, for uh, Wilcox, he thinks that uh, he's waiting to see the military come into the Gambia, but do you also think otherwise? Tell us more on what you think might just happen just after Wednesday. I think uh, Yaya Jame is going to reject the offer. Uh, what many people don't know is that Yaya Jame has been ruling Gambia like a military man. His version of democracy has been a horse. His version of democracy has been that unacceptable to the international community. This is a man that introduced Sharia and changed the name of the country to Islamic uh, Republic of Gambia. And he left uh, a Commonwealth uh, of Nations. He removed his country from being a member of the Commonwealth. So the, the, the road has started long ago. In fact, many journalists have been sent to the prison before, and uh, there have been instances of uh, closure of... Uh, communication houses. So what you are seeing now is a consolidation of power. And he was surprised. In fact, he was shocked that he lost that election. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, Yaya Jame is not a man of peace, uh, but it is good for the West African countries to make the last attempt to avoid blame.